Good evening, everyone. Uh, it is Monday, April 28th at 7.15, and I will call this Board of Selectmen's meeting to order. Um, to start out, we are um, being filmed, so please smile widely if you're on the camera. Um, start out, number one, consent agenda. Um, minutes of meetings, April 7th, 2014. April 14th, 2014. Requests, one day, all alcohol license, May 9th, 2014th at Arlington Catholic High School for a $10,000 drawing. Move approval. We second. Have, we have a motion, a second. Any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Four nothing vote. Next, uh, number two, traffic rules and orders and other business. For approval, Charles Lyons hearing room. We have. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? Yes. Um, oh, sorry. Actually, are you sure? Um, I just wanted to say, I'm, I, I'm sure that Kevin will want to weigh in on this in a future time, and I'm, he'll have an opportunity to do so. He was the sponsor of this, and I'm sure he, he was very excited to see that it was approved by the Public Memorials Committee. But it, they, uh, the committee cites you know, what we all know about the work that Charlie Lyons did for Arlington, and we will hereby rename the hearing room right over across the hall as uh, the Charlie Lyons hearing room. So I'm, I, I'm, uh, Kevin will have to enjoy it from the Japanese celebration where he's at right now. <laughs> yes. Exactly the same thing, and that I, it's all our understanding that Mr. Gurley will take the lead on. Yes, and um, you know I've uh, I've gotten to know Charlie pretty well over the past several years, and um, this is very much deserved. Um, that being said, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Next, a vote. Authorize town manager to execute agreement in principle, Venna Road. Mr. Chapdelaine. Do you? Number oh. three. Number three. Oh, number three. I, sorry, I checked it off before we even <laughs> we discussed it. Um, discussion and vote. Minuteman Regional Agreement. Minuteman School District Composition. Mr. Dunn. Uh, so we talked about this briefly at the end of last meeting and to put it on the agenda here. There are a number of towns, the number of the 16 towns in the Minuteman Agreement who are small numbers and who want to leave the Minuteman Agreement and are concerned that they won't be allowed to and therefore are threatening to block the regional agreement from being approved. Uh, at the meeting that Adam and Joe and I were at at the Weston Town Hall, Dover excited that if they, in the, under the new regional agreement, their costs would go up 82%. And they say, you know, we, we understand we only send one student, but we don't want this to happen. Uh, and then on Thursday of last week, uh, Adam and I and a number of people who have been involved in the Minuteman process, um, including um, Superintendent Kathy Bodie and our representative to the Minuteman School Committee, Laura Morissette, um, sat down and we talked about this motion further and it was our collective wisdom that indeed we should support it. And one of the things that no one really talks about but um, is in the language here is that Arlington could choose to take this opportunity in the future if it wanted to. Only here, but the window specified. Uh, but the motion which I will now read and make. Resolved that in the event of ratification of the revised Minuteman Regional S Vocational School District Agreement as approved by the Regional School Committee on March 11, 2014, in the event of notice of desire to withdraw by one or more of the members of the district given within one year of the effective date of the revised agreement, the Board of Selectmen, we, will not place a warrant article disapproving such withdrawal in a town meeting warrant unless required by law and will oppose such a disapproval article or motion in any event. Second. Ms. Uh, just one question. Um, does this have any bearing whatsoever uh, in terms of the Minuteman Regional District Warrant Article? It does in that um, we're doing this so that other towns will vote yes on the Warrant Article. I continue to support that Warrant Article. Like we as a board voted it. I continue to support it. And this is just trying to advance other towns to agree it, uh, as well. 
Is this something that we should or that will be conveyed to town meeting when that particular article comes up? Or that's what I'm just wondering. Uh, Only because when I was at the precinct meeting yesterday for 12, 14, 17, 21, Minuteman did come up and then this facet of it came up. Yeah. So, and that can be answered admit, perhaps with the chairman and, and town council because I, unless we're really ambitious, we won't get to the Minuteman warrant article tonight. But I'm just wondering if, if in some way, maybe it's just having the chairman get up at the beginning of the Minuteman warrant article and just make a statement of this vote. And then if there are any questions that follow and or our manager. It may be worthwhile uh, to have, uh, and I know that Chair and I are still uh, discussing who would really be the lead speaker on the Minuteman revised agreement, but uh, whoever that speaker be, under the withdrawal provision that's allowed under the revised agreement, mention this resolution and the effort that's going on within the district. I think that would be the appropriate time to mention that this board and other boards have taken that action for the reasons that Mr. Dunn has laid out. Fine. Just as long as it's conveyed mm -hmm. in some form. So I'll leave it to the sure. chairman and town manager to Great. best and come on time. Thank you. Joe. Chair, I, I agree. I mean, I was at this original meeting, as, as uh, Mr. Dunn mentioned, and I think that this is an important step to take, is just another carrot to try to incent districts to sign on. Um, do we have a sense right now as to how many other towns might have adopted this already? Yeah, my, uh, I spoke with uh, Kate Fitzpatrick, the town manager in Needham, and right now the count is at five. Five. Uh, she expects by mid next week, if everybody who has said that they will adopt, that at least eight will have adopted by next week. Great. And most of the town meetings start next week, uh, the key town meetings, so this is, it's all happening on time. So we'd be at 50 percent. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what you really, you need 50 percent to say yes, and then yep. the ninth who wants to get out, you got your majority right there. Yeah. Great. Any further discussion? No, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Four nothing vote. <clears throat> and I'm moving forward now, number four. A vote to authorize town manager to execute agreement in principle. Venner Road, Mr. Chaplain. So what the board has before them tonight um, is an agreement in writing, as was described to the board at a prior meeting, uh, about the negotiations with the owners of 55 Venner Road. Uh, so drafted by town council and then worked between the property owner's attorney and town council. We have this final agreement. Uh, it's been executed by Denise Long, uh, the named trustee um, from the property owners. It has all of the um, areas of uh, uh, the financial concern that we discussed, and you'll notice that it is uh, only uh, or it's subject to the approval of town meeting. So there's no commitment on the part of the town or the board here uh, to do anything without the approval of town meeting. So tonight what I'm asking the board is for formal approval for me to execute this document. Once executed, uh, then there'll be a formal vote before the board uh, in the next agenda item and we'll distribute that to town meeting for potential action uh, on possibly Wednesday night or a future night of town meeting. So moved. God bless you. God bless you. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Typo. Principal. I think we got the wrong principal. I think it's L-E. We've got it at least a couple Al's times. Al is the person, L-E is the rest. Is that, is that the case? Like, it's supposed it, to be L-E. I don't know. We can double check it, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Okay. pending, all right. It will be checked. All right, good. Great. Um, any further discussion? No. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? How, yeah. How are we going to share this? Um, are we going to issue a supplemental report or are we just going to put this on everyone's chair? So do, after the, the next. Board, if, oh, I'm sorry. Did I, am I jumping ahead? Oh, I apologize. I was jumping ahead. No, no, but fair, fair question, if, you may, if I may. Yeah, please. Uh, if the board uh, so votes on Article 16 on the final vote and comment along with the agreement, there'll be a supplemental report placed in the chairs before town meeting tonight. Oh. <laughs> next, final votes and comments. We're Are taking away that rubber stamp, Adam. <laughs> uh, Article 16, bylaw amendment. 55 Venner Road, removal of easement restriction. Move approval. Second. Again, with um, under the comments section, one, two, three, fourth line down, principal. Sure. To LE. Yeah. Um, and it, it's, to Mr. Dunn's question, this will be, is this what we will be placing before town meeting? Um, if, we w if the possibility of it being addressed on Wednesday night is something that people want to have happen, it w this will be what's placed before town meeting. 
We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Very efficient tonight. Excuse me. Um, moving forward, correspondence received. Uh, David Carroll, the sports complex traffic light. Richard Greco, election officer appointed. And Mary Harrison and Bruce E. Moulton, co-chair, job description of uh, the Vision 2020 Standing Committee. Move or seat. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Actually, just a yes. brief discussion, in, uh, particularly on the Vision 2020. Uh, the correspondence here is that they are bringing in new co-chairs, and they wanted us to, our help in disseminating that. And so I guess for everyone who is not yet at town meeting and is watching at home, uh, if you're interested in being active in Vision 2020, they are very actively looking for uh, new members and new leadership. And that's what the, the point of this particular piece of correspondence was. So, Thank you. Yes, Ms. And Mara. just briefly, I uh, want to extend our congratulations to Mr. Greco, Rich Greco, on his unanimous appointment. I know he's been invaluable to myself as a, um, not only a selectman elected official, town meeting member, and otherwise. And I think it's a testament to the fact that the board put him through and put him through unanimously. So congratulations to Rich. I agree. Thank you. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? And we, yes. Uh, I would like to move to adjourn and that the Actually, Board of Selectmen. Sorry. Uh, you, uh, is there new business? Sorry. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Yes, we will do new we business. Will? Okay. Um, let's check the time before we. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Just uh, very quickly, uh, I believe the Board has seen the memo that Town Council Doug Heim drafted in regards to Ms. Lawton's concerns raised about the relationship between the town and High Rock Church. So the Board has that, and Ms. Lawton, I believe, has been uh, forwarded that memorandum as well, so I just wanted to bring that to the board's sure. attention. Thank you. No new Sorry. business. No new business. I'm sorry. Uh, there was today for this afternoon raised a question about um, the, the Community Preservation Act and the specific version of it that we want to enact. Opinion I respect to on to look at changing which that one that is, but I only, I literally read the um, so that uh, the board may, you know, I may have called you up and say, let's schedule a quick meeting and to, to, I mean, obviously we inform the board and chair and all that stuff, but I just wanted to tell, put that out there. Thank you. That's all I had. Um, yes, I, um, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention our lovely weekend with uh, Nago Kio, our sister city, um, due to our um, need to get the to town meeting. We will discuss that further at length at another time. Um, <laughs> so that being said, thank you. Do we have a motion? I'd like to move to adjourn and that the Board of Selectmen shall reconvene at the annual town meeting for the purpose of town, me town meeting business only and that the Board of Selectmen shall remain in session concurrent with the annual town meeting and that the Board of Selectmen adjournment will coincide with the annual town meeting dissolution. We have a second. second. Uh, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous vote. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>